السلام علیکم دا اسمارٹ اسکولس آن لائن وتھ اسمارٹ کمپیوٹنگ بک تھری کلاس تھری ویڈیو لیسن نمبر ون چیپٹر ون کمپیوٹر فنڈامنٹلس اینڈ ڈیوائسز مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی شیل کور مانیٹر اینڈ سی پی یو ایز کمپوننٹس آف دا کمپیوٹر You can read information about monitor and CPU on page 5 to 7 from your textbook. The resources required for this lesson are online with smart computing book 3, pencil, rubber, sharpener, ruler, loose sheets and notebook. My dear students, I hope that you have already arranged these things with you. By the end of this lesson we shall be able to define a computer identify monitor and cpu as parts of a computer let's talk about computers students have you ever used computers can you guess what a computer is can you tell why do we use a computer Let's find it out by watching this video together. Hello friends. Now we will learn about parts of computer friends our body has many parts like eyes nose ears hands legs and all these parts have different function similarly friends computer has five main part as monitor mouse keyboard cpu and printer let's understand each part one by one look friends this is a monitor a monitor is just like tv monitor is used to view pictures and cartoons monitor shows the work done by us on computer monitor is an output device monitor is connected with cpu look friends This is a CPU. CPU means Central Processing Unit. CPU is the brain of computer. CPU controls the working of all parts of computer look friends this is a mouse mouse is an input device mouse is used to point the things on monitor 
Mouse has three buttons. This is a left button. This is a right button. And this is a wheel. Keyboard is an input device. Keyboard has lots of keys. Each keys have its own function. This is alphabet keys. This is number keys. And this is special keys yes now students as you have seen the video can you give the definition of a computer yes you can read the definition of a computer from your textbook you are right a computer is an electronic machine that can accept store and then process data to generate information now students can you tell me why do we use a computer yes you're right we use computers because it helps us to solve problems in less amount of time now can you name some basic parts of a computer yes you have already read it and you know these parts very well some basic parts of the computer are monitor cpu keyboard and mouse my dear students can you identify which part of the computer is this can you name this part of the computer yes you are right this part of the computer that looks like a television screen is called a monitor. Do you know what does a monitor do? Yes, it is the display unit of the computer. It means that it shows us what input we have given to the computer and what is the result of our given input. It shows us alphabets, numbers, pictures and videos on it. It looks like a television screen. Now, can you tell me which part of the computer is this? Dear students, you are right. This part of the computer is called CPU. Do you know what does CPU mean? CPU stands for Central Processing unit yes central processing unit or cpu is also called the brain of a computer it has three parts alu cu and mu alu is the arithmetic logic unit it performs all the calculations such as plus minus, multiply, divide inside the computer. CU is called the control unit. It controls the flow of information between various parts of the computer. MU is called the memory unit of the computer. It stores the information. RAM and ROM. MU has two types of memory, RAM and ROM. RAM is called random access memory. It works as long as the computer is switched on. All the data in the RAM is lost when we switch off the computer. This is the picture of a computer RAM. ROM is called read-only memory. It is a permanent memory of the computer. 
these are the pictures of rom now my dear students read page number 5 to 7 from your textbook underline the definition of computer in your textbook and memorize it focus on the terms written in blue ink identify the parts of cpu and memorize them and their functions let's recap our lesson in this lesson we read that a computer is an electronic machine that accepts data processes data and produces information computer makes our work easy monitor cpu keyboard mouse are basic components of the computer monitor is the display unit of the computer cpu is called the brain of the computer now we shall see if we can answer these questions you need loose sheets to write the answer of these questions show your answers to your computer teacher define a computer name two basic parts of a computer which part of a computer is called display unit which part of the computer is called brain of a computer how many parts a cpu has name them what is ram what is rom my dear students i hope that you have enjoyed this lesson we shall meet in the next lesson of the same chapter in second video till then take care of yourselves and allah hafiz